Hi, this is just a quick video to, inter to introduce the public release of Responsible Campers Association's submissions to the Select Committee of Minister Stuart Nash's proposed Freedom Camping Bill. The submissions um, conclude basically what has been nearly six years of research and investigations um, enacted by volunteers of Responsible Campers Association. This work has included surveys of Freedom Campers and of councils themselves, of official information applications to government departments, state-owned enterprises, councils, even Ministers of the Crown, as well as other stakeholders. These investigations have produced considerable amount of evidence that has been used to oppose Minister Nash's bill, as well as evidence that has come from the likes of mainstream media, social media posts, and even club publications and stuff. There's also considerable amount of work has been done behind the scenes by our legal team. I would like to shout out a very special thanks to all those volunteers who have helped in any other in any way possible. Um, people give of what they can, and, and the amount of volunteer hours that have been put into this work um, has been tremendous. The people have given what they can and supported our work so much over the last nearly six years. I don't want to name everybody. But I really want to give one very special call out to one person, and that's Betty Cosgrove. Her influence and her determination to oppose this bill this year has allowed me to stand back and take a back seat and look after my own health, which has been suffering in recent years. Betty's determination was such that RCAI awarded her a certificate of appreciation for the year ending 2022. Over and above what is um, presented in the written submission, which is linked into the comments um, and introduction to this video, there is um, a supplementary update also being provided to the select committee. The update has included the update in the year of, um, we, we had included the 32 years that the self containment standard had been around with zero evidence of any benefits or ever being a solution. And that's now been updated to actually 50 years. So basically from one third of a century to half a century in light of um, a clarification that was provided by Bruce LaCour at NZMCA um, in the latest club magazine, which many of us received this last weekend. In addition, we've also seen fit to link the Memorandum of Understanding from 2016 between the New Zealand Motor Caravan Association and the Thames Caramandal District Council. This provides some clarification of the narrative of NZMCA prior to even funding of the amendments to the self-containment standard back in 2017. We invite you to read our report and we are open to discussion and report in our Facebook group Accredited Camper NZ RCAI. A link to that group was also provided for within the introduction to this video. This does not by any means sign the end of the work for some of us. Um, a number of us are also committed to appearing in person before the Select Committee, committee in the next couple of months. Um, additionally, um, there is a number of petitions that are still running and will continue to run for the foreseeable future. They don't specifically um, align with this parliamentary bill. However, they are also part of the influence against opposing the bill. Again, a link to those, um, a link to the petitions and a post on Facebook where you can sign into those petitions is again provided in the introduction to this video. I wish you well. I thank everybody for their support. Um, we can only hope from here on in that this bill is defeated in its entirety. There's no justification for it. Everything is on based on hearsay and assumptions, and 
it's just absolutely ludicrous. It is a, it is a, 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 a restriction on our right to freedom camp um, responsibly. Well, thank you all. Um, let's talk again in a month or two, eh? Otherwise, next chat on that Facebook group. Thank you.